The internet has connected the world in many ways, but can it also feel isolated being physically away from people? In a Ringling College, home of many video gamers, they found an antidote to that isolation problem. SNS Marco Lomano was at Ringling. At Ringling College Art and Design, it's not hard to find student gamers. And Ringling student Jay Hee Kim said, for those who like to play Super Smash Brothers, playing online was a problem. The online system is not geared towards competition. Even with perfect connection, Kim says there's a half second delay from pushing a button and your character reacting. So for the best way to play, they have to do it locally. We used to meet in either common room uh, spaces for dorms or just in our dorms ourselves. But now they have the new eSports Arena, which opened earlier this month, where students can play and compete. And the students in the varsity eSports team, the Ringling Rollers, find the 600 square foot space leaps and bounds more convenient. Before... And we'd have to like bring monitors from other rooms in the school. We'd have to bring our own setups for uh, Super Smash Brothers. And we'd have to set everything up right then, and then we'd have to, at the end of the night, we'd have to take it down. Now you just like take five minutes, set up your switch, and you're done. You get That's to go straight into yeah. Nice one, you got Let's it. Go. Of course, we play just for fun with the students, but there is a competitive tournament scene, and a professional is coaching them in Valorant, Overwatch, and Super Smash Brothers. They have to win like a certain amount of games to get into playoffs, and then if you win the playoffs, you get a monetary prize. I don't know. <laughs> but it's the sense of belonging that wins this game. Sophomore Sophie Leone says she's autistic. Sometimes when I'm like talking, I'll just like say things faster than I'm thinking, and then I'll be like, what am I saying? But she feels in her element playing a video game, and especially so with others. Because we all like really like like animation, cartoons, and all that stuff, so I can just kind of like hyper obsess with someone over South Park, and then we start to click and just get better. <laughs> like, I'm playing Stick of Truth right now. Oh. I love Stick of Truth. See? Clicked right away. Go team! Go team! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Reporting from Sarasota, Marco Lomano, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Go team, go indeed. I didn't realize Cindy Rell was a gamer at <laughs> <laughs> College in Barton Design. Now, the National Association for Collegiate Esports reports that more than 170 member schools have provided more than $16 million in esports scholarships. So, yes, it is becoming bigger and bigger.